Do you guys see it? Wait, am I getting it? Right here. Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today is Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Whew. Today's Tuesday and welcome back to our channel. I don't know if you guys saw the heart that I showed you just a second ago on my way down to the barn this morning. I believe that hearts come from heaven, from mothers in heaven. You guys know that Cookie Dough left us a couple of days ago and that she was a mother and we got when we got her she was pregnant. And I believe that's a sign. I believe that that's a sign. God gives us signs all the time. We just need to go out there and be open to them and be able to see them and recognize them for what they are. All right, Sam is going to feed the boys. I'm gonna find the fly masks and try again because our boys be suffering with the bugs. That is terrible right now. One, two, the girls don't need them. There's hardly any bugs in the barn. Three, four. Wait, we only have four, three horses. So we need to figure this out. I'm not gonna lie, if it seems like I just woke up, jumped out of bed, threw my hair up and ran down to the barn. Yeah, that could have happened. <laughs> I am still half asleep. And I swear, you know the days when you cry so much that your eyes burn and ache? Oh, they still are burning and aching. So much burning and aching. Ugh. But that will pass. And it's the least that Cookie deserves, to be honest. I want to try and clean these masks. All right, so I gave these things all a wash because you guys have seen in our other videos that our horses don't love them, especially when they get blinded because gook gets in the eyes, especially Finny. He gets all spooky, and I don't want to go backwards with him. So I try to wash them all. I'm going to take them out and put them on. They'll be a little bit wet, but that's okay because who doesn't love to be a little bit wet on a scorching day? Look how gross the water is after I wash them in Stella's bucket. You and me stuck on the ocean now. Nothing but waves in this villain in. I want to dry up, but too. Just keep on going, don't you? I don't even know how we got here. All my reasoning have disappeared. I want to bury the hatchet. And find the way back to our home, our home, our home. We don't have to drift inside this dome. I will not let us fade away. It's not a price I want to pay. And it's not too late. No, we lost our purpose. Chasing all that surf. chores are so simple now we just switch the boys field throw the girls some hay give everybody grain I don't know if you guys could see I might have zoomed it in too far but the storm was eating its grain and I was trying to tackle Finn Chino into a fly mask Finn was and Chino was frantic he's like no that's mine I want it and I was getting him in trouble saying like back off this is not your food it's obviously storms food because he's eating it so I'm wrestling Chino away from Storm's grain. And then Sam comes and he's like, Laura, that's Chino's grain. I'm like, no wonder he was so frantic. There you go, Gracie. Ponies are doing great. They have the free open run of this whole space now. It might not seem like much, but we did it. Like every 
thing, farm, everything, horse, does not come naturally to me or to Sam. It's a learned thing, it's a learned experience. So every little tiny thing that we achieve is like, yes, we did it, we did it. Anyway, I wanted to say, when I was out there dealing with Chino, it reminded me of something I wanted to tell you guys. And in light of Cookie's passing, still can't believe it. I'm just trying to uh, turn off the water to the field. Actually, I don't know if the boys need water in the big field, but anyway. Sometimes I feel like we forget and our chores become a part of getting it done, just getting it done. And I just wanna remind you guys, coming from the best place possible in my heart, to take minutes every day with the animal that you love and make a part of their day happy. And that can look like stopping along the way so that your horse can say hi to his friends. It can mean standing an extra five minutes in the field while your horse licks his bowl completely clean even though he's finished because you know he gets so much enjoyment from licking of the last little bits of stuff in his bowl. It could mean stopping along the way for your horse to eat grass. I know that's frowned upon a lot, but I tell you, relationships are made on letting your horse eat grass for a few minutes. Just little tiny things. Make sure you do them every single day. Tiny things that you may think are insignificant, but that mean the world to your horse because that's all they have. All they have is what you show them. All they have is what you do with them. All they have is you. So make sure that the you you give to them, at least a part of the every single day, is a happy, amazing you that is focused solely on their enjoyment. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Do you know the rules about cell phones in the barn? Yeah, parents are allowed though. Parents are allowed? Yeah. What, when do you use your phone? Right when, now. Oh, when, who are you phoning? Hey guy. Hey guy. Oh, good job, Sam. Parents are allowed. It's hot out. So hot out. Yesterday, Sophie and I cried, and today we are gonna swim. And Gabby's home, and she brought a friend. Good morning, welcome to Starbucks. I'll be with you in one moment. Yeah, uh, three. Four dragon fruit refreshers with lemonade. Medium. Absolutely. What size are we doing? Um, Just say medium. Medium. The medium? Absolutely. One medium caramel brulee Anything cream. Else for you today? Yeah. One medium caramel brulee cream frappuccino. Car caramel brulee frappuccino. Cream frappuccino. Like the, um, the caramel ribbon crunch one? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And sorry, what size is that again? Medium. Uh, Medium? Yep, perfect. What is your puppy, your dog thing? Do you have like a puppuccino or whatever? Yeah, we can do a puppuccino. Yeah, we'll get one of those too. For sure. And is that a complete order today? Yeah. Awesome. $29.44 is your total. We'll you with them. 30 bucks for coffee. Right, so I told you guys that Gabby had friends sleep over and obviously that means that they stayed up all night watching TV and I know this because I turn my fan on when I go to bed because I know that I'm not going to sleep with the noise of them. And so every time I woke up in the night, I turned my fan off to see if I could sleep without it and nope, they were up all night. Like I swear the sun was coming out when I finally could turn my fan off. So we decided to come and get everybody at their favorite Starbucks drink. Yep, she's getting her first puppuccino ever. <laughs> she's like so excited. So the girls have been wanting to get Molly a puppuccino. None of her dogs have ever had a puppuccino. It's a Starbucks drink. It's a Starbucks like cup of whipped cream or something. I don't know, but it's something that they give to dogs. And she's excited. Thank you. And I'm getting something I've never tried before because I can't drink caffeine. I looked it up, Sam. No caffeine in it. So I got, I looked it up, 10 uh, Starbucks drinks without caffeine. I'm getting a caramel brulee frappuccino. I don't know if it's good. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I don't know if it's gonna make me sick. Because dairy is not really my best friend either, but I'm gonna try it and see if I like it. The girls are gonna be so jealous, which is why I'm going to video Molly's first ever Starbucks puppuccino. You want a puppuccino? You want a puppuccino? You're gonna get a drink and who you as you are. Isn't she the loveliest dog? They're not for you. These are not for you. Back it up. Back it up. I feel like she would drink them. Nope, not for you. Puppuccino. <gasps> puppuccino. Look, Molly. It's for you. This is it. It's so cute. <laughs> she likes it. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> She's like, whoa. Wait, but shouldn't dogs not have dairy? 
I would have tasted it if she hadn't stubbed her, shoved her mouth into it so fast. Can you take a picture on your phone before she's finished? Yeah, take a picture here. There's my phone. There she is. <laughs> See? We take care of you. Your owner may be sleeping. We take care of you. Wow, that's what I have. That was so good. Um, Molly took the whole cup out of my hand. She finished it all, took the cup. She's probably going to chew it to bits all the way home. This is like, what do they do with sugar when they make it crystallized? Brown sugar. Probably going to make me crazy, but mmm. So yummy. Just, caffeine. Just worse than caffeine, but caffeine makes me actually sick. Today is scorching. It's the scorchingest day of all the scorching days. Feels like 36. It's probably gonna get over 40 today. During COVID, when it's this hot, there are only a few things that you can do. Go to the beach, swim in the pool, or go out for food. What do you think we're gonna do? I wanted to uh, go like to the wakeboard school near us and go like tubing or something super fun like that. But the girls just woke up. Yeah, it's like one o'clock. They just woke up. Hi, hi princess girl. You gotta go in your shed, I mean in your stall, so the boys can get out of the sun. It's gorgeous in here, isn't it? Yeah, look at you. Pretty baby. Don't look at the girls, they're not dressed for the day. They're not ready for the day. but like I don't know if it's just something I forgot but this summer I have cut our ponies back down so much they get a flake in the morning a flake at lunch and then they get two flakes at supper each and they're so fat like they're hardly getting any like nothing Hi, are you guys getting ready are you guys getting ready yeah. I am ready you're not going in winter pajamas on the hottest day of the year are we eating I don't know, we'll see. Because if we're not, I'm saying No, go get your pajamas changed. Go get changed. Some clothes on that body of yours. I have clothes on. Poor Willow here in a big, huge winter coat and a big, fat belly. How? How is this happening? I'm gonna cut her down like last year when we had them. She ate half what she's getting. She ate double what she's getting now. And she still wasn't as fat. It's menopause. Hello, Mr. Handsome. Oh, they didn't even take off your fly mask. You don't need fly masks in here. Yes, you're welcome. I'll take it off for you. Worked good. They kept it on today. The flies in that field are ridiculous now. Oh, hold on. Jeez. Stop being idiots. Oh, there you be sweating. There you go. No flies. Oh my goodness. This hair. Put in a ponytail for you. Hey, now I gotta take off storms. Let me take this off. I gotta sew yours because it's broken. Look at it. You ripped it. <laughs> Look at how funny he looks. What the heck? Storm always got, has a weird smell on his breath like he ate some funky weeds. Hopefully there's no funky weeds growing in our field. You never know in this day and age what's growing in there. <laughs> Look at you and your posse. All right, watch out so I can come and turn off the water. Thank you. Oh, so grateful for this. Oh. I'm scared. So grateful for this little arena. When we move to our new farm, our big gigantic farm, we are going to have a huge run-in like this. I'll have two doors, but it'll be big like this. At least this big. So they can get out of the elements, all of them, and still get away. That's Storm's favorite spot over there by the door. He thinks it's shady, but it's more shady inside. I don't get it. And I love that we can put our water inside because no sun gets at it and it doesn't turn green, which is amazing. I have to put the hose down like this so it's flat because I just have nightmares about what these horses can do when we're not here. Essentially had to empty the whole arena. 
of everything because I'm afraid of what they're gonna do. Like horses are so nuts though. Like if you had told me before we got horses, I never would have believed you. Oh yeah, that's right. You all did tell me and I never believed you. But I believe it now. If anybody asked me if horses are hard, I would say the hardest of the hard. The most ridiculous of the most ridiculous. So we're supposed to get like a whole week of really bad weather. This whole week till next weekend, at least. Really bad weather. Uh, so, but luckily we are gonna get a lesson in. Our trainers can come sometimes at different hours. So we'll be doing before breakfast or after supper. So I'm doing a hay run, so we're filling up. All right, we got the girls ready for the day. Kaylee sporting some cute little shorts. Gabby in her sweatpants. Oh my goodness. Looks like clearly we decided to go out and eat. You know the only two food places that I eat healthy at? Where? Chinese and Subway. Are subs healthy? Still. Not a McDonald's <laughs> burger. Yeah, that's true. And Sophie's wearing her dad's t shirt. Mm hmm. That's I'm how. My gym one. That's where we roll. That's how we roll. Oh, can't can't eat in unless you sit right up there against the bar. <laughs> you guys know what you want. Do you know what you want? Dad, I want the thing. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Good thing Dad knows. Sophie had cold cut subs. Kaylee gets a wrap. That's called a rip off. That's called a rip off. Same price for a wrap. And steak. This is mine. I get steak and cheese. Uh, Gabby gets a BMT. What's a BMT? Oh, that's probably mine. Oh, BMT sauce. with hot sauce. She gets a little the same as her dad. And Gabby's has no writing on it. Oh, careful. And to drink, I always get chocolate milk because I'm like mature like that. And I get sunshine. Sometimes I feel like when I was getting older, I missed the stage. I feel like I still think and eat like I'm a kid sometimes. What kind of drink do you get, Kaylee? Iced tea. Ew. What kind of drink Dr. do you get? Pepper. Dr. Pepper, I can hack. Gabby, what kind did you get? Dr. Pepper. Door! Door, we're just, it's us. We're just walking by. It's okay. Daddy. Don't freak out. Hi, baby. Imagine you're standing in the barn in the gorgeous, glorious shade, and suddenly you hear all these people tromping by, and you're sound asleep. We always have to scream door to tell them that we're there or else they freak out <laughs> and start running like maniacs. So Woo! Scorching. Have I, I mentioned it's scorching? They screamed out of nowhere. Well, we make noise and they hear us and I, that's why I start from far back saying door. This is the puppy's special spot. Everything's set up oh, down here. I know. Your sister pulled out the pole because she had to move the chair because she has to have it special like a princess. Special all to herself. Anyway, we're going out in a little while. Uh, Kaylee went home, but Gabby's getting ready. And Sophie and I are gonna take advantage of this glorious sun and do a little swim. Yes, I wear a bikini. Of course you should, rocket sister. We also blew up our island. I can't get on it. You can't get on the island. <laughs> the island is not that easy to get on. The pool is always a little dirty. Little sand, little bugs. That's what happens. When you're lazy and hot, you can't be the only ones out there. That's why it's good when you get married. You marry somebody that's the opposite of you. Someone with lots of energy. I'm the energy one in our family. So it doesn't always work out. Do the test. How really hot is it? It's 85 exactly. 30 degrees. Holy oh my God, I heck. We also have Sam down here who be chilling with us, spending time with us, watching us swim using his phone, pretending to spend time with us while we swim, which is what I would be doing too. So Gabby, what did you think of the stud kit your dad bought you? Like, yeah. They're adventure studs. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only stud kit they have. It doesn't matter, we can use this, 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 and this, right? Uh -huh. so this is too big. That. Yeah. This part goes into the ground. Yeah. And this part does too. I know, they're so massive. Where it's I mean, but maybe so one day. So these go in the stud hole, right? Yeah. But maybe one day you're gonna want to you be an inventor and woohoo! But those are what you want, right? To go in the stud hole so they don't get filled up. And what? 
I think these cotton things are better. No, these are better. No, the cotton ones are not good. Those look like they're hard to get out. You have used a tool. I'm not gonna lie, we have learned a lot about horses in a really short amount of time, but there is still so much we don't know. One of them being that not all stud kits are created equal. Our farrier was like, Laura, now don't go out there and buy yourself a stud kit. You're not gonna need it. What's this for? That's the Allen key to turn it. To turn the other things. Turn what other things? There's other little things you can put in there. Instead of the... Something is hard. Teaching dads are hard. Uh, so he's got her beautiful pink lips on. Super cute. Lipstick. Lipstick, and she. You don't put lips on. And she did her hair, sort of. I, I have a skirt. And she has a skirt. And I sprayed myself. So All right, and to, now we're headed out. Okay, we actually went out, picked up Kaylee, went someplace, top secret, and then came home. There are always things that happen that. We, we want to keep as a yesterday. surprise as a surprise for later so today that is one of the things like we had to go and do some YouTube business sort of stuff well actually I guess it's not really YouTube business but we went and did something completely we went and did something that was top secret and I just can't tell you guys what it is yet it all will, oh, okay. will be revealed in a future video though that's all I can say to you and Sophie, be looking cute. I haven't been by to see the chickens for a little while. Sophie comes out every day. Still, uh oh, still only two are laying though. Look at that, Abby. Hello, pretty girl. Hello. The red ones are the funniest. We also did try and go shopping to get Sophie some new clothes while we were out. All the stores here closed at 7 and we were late so we didn't get any. But we're going to end today's video and um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm inside because I have to go pee and I'll come back out with a night card and it's easier to And I'm really excited to share eventually all of our secret surprises.